Hey, what's up? It's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a Maytag. And so if you have a lint filter that's falling apart, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have lint built up, causing all kinds of problems. Now this lint built up here, got anti-static sheets in here. Probably wasn't blowing pretty good. What it did was, it actually didn't break the blower, so that's good. It pulled the blower off center a little bit. I lost the keeper clip on the shaft. And I noticed was this here, the mount that holds the motor. That's broken. Could have been because there was so much lint built up inside here that it threw this off and it was just jumping around like a like a uh, kangaroo. So that's what happens if you use a bad filter. Keep using it with a bad filter. Just like that. Okay, so here it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to check the heat element. You also want to make sure you have 220, 240 volts at the socket. So for this you'll probably have to have a meter. This is a cheap Harbor Freight uh, volt meter. You can order them online for 10 bucks or so. Set your meter on voltage 220, 250 high voltage. Take your probes, and when the unit is plugged in, of course this one doesn't have the plug, it's not plugged in or anything. When it is plugged in, you can go like this. And if you go here across these two far terminals and you don't have 220, then you've got a problem in your wiring, in your household wiring. You should have 220 across here. If in doubt, consult your local professional. Uh, so this video is for informational purposes only. This, this kind of stuff can be hazardous. So you'll probably have 110 across here and 110 across here. And you should have 220 across here. If you don't, you have some household wiring problem. And so got some wind kicking out here today. We're gonna check the heat element. Here. Now once again this is not plugged in and don't work on your appliance when it's plugged in normally. Across these two terminals we're checking for continuity. These two terminals here. So we take our meter. Now we go across here and here. These two terminals. We should show continuity. And here, this particular one is not showing continuity. So this one has a bad heat element. You go across these two terminals and your meter does not react, then you've got a problem. It should react like so. And so this heat element in here is shot. Fix that. I'm going to do is tie it. Temporary fix. And then this blower is actually a little bit loose on the shaft. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up with a little sandpaper. And we're going to take the little tensioner off. So grab yourself a little glass grip or something, needle nose. Grab your tensioner here and pull it off. So that's your tensioner. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the pliers, vice grip, whatever, squeeze that, squeeze it down a little bit tighter than it was before. And again, we're going to clean this off again. Now this blower is actually still it's a little bit sloppy, so let's see it's, it's responsive, but it's a little bit sloppy right there. So what I'm going to do is take some E6000 and glue it in there and let it dry 24 hours before we start spinning it again. It will give it a little extra hold. Plus when we crimp this down it's going to grab 
blower a little bit tighter and so uh, that will help that situation and after that we're gonna go look at that heat okay sorry about the wind guys we got wind noises but uh there's a screw in the back back there, right there. See it? you gotta take that screw out take that screw here out take that front mount off this thing a couple screws here on the bottom and you can look at your heat element if you look at it you can see right in there that heat element has come apart right there inside there so what we're going to do is take that apart and we'll tie it back together and it'll work for a little while who knows it's just a temporary fix and then we can get a new heat element for it but use it temporarily Yeah, the wind's really kicking out here. So, anyway, there's the tie right there. What I do is I clean it, clean it up with some sandpaper for, first before I tie it. I try not, I try to make sure that my hands are not greasy. Um, and I actually leave a little bit of open the end. I leave open. This is for cooling. Okay, so that will do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I give phone advice for $25. You can call me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. Thanks for watching.